Hey everybody, Bones here at Bones Garage, just bringing you up to date on the 1957 Dodge D100 with the 315 poly motor. Well, motor is all done and runs absolutely fantastic. We replaced the water pump, we replaced the oil pump, the fuel pump. We took the distributor all apart, took the points out, put an electronic ignition in it, went from 25,000 volt coil to a 50,000 volt coil. Also with the pickup in the ignition system, we're doing a multi-spark setup with a rev limiter in the original distributor with the original cap on it, or original style cap. We put a set of 8mm spark plug wires on it that we make ourselves. I took the old metal spark plug wire looms, added the plastic to it so this way we don't get the spark jump through the metal and um, ran the plug wires nice and neat. New plugs are in there um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We completely resealed the motor. I did some work on the carburetor. Uh, we did some work on the electrical system. Did a whole bunch of rewiring under there. Then uh, we went underneath the truck, replaced all the fuel lines, replaced the fuel filler neck, replaced the fuel filler neck hose, and um, a few other odds and ends. The next thing we have to do to it is we're going to be pulling out the windows, the driver's side door window and the passenger side door windows. We're going to replace all the rubber seals on the vent. We're going to replace all the run channels on both windows and then on the driver's window I got to do some fabrication work to make everything work because right now that's as much as the window will open. So we're going to fix all that up next. Um, but she runs great, sounds really good. I got to just put the hubcaps back on. They look like that one there. And here you can kind of hear it running. Has a beautiful sound to it, nice deep tone. Love that. Fixed the exhaust system on it. So a lot of work has gone into this truck um, to make her better, even better than she was before because she was a pretty good truck originally. So, yeah, there you go. There's what's going on at Bones Garage. I also took a GM air cleaner and made it fit the two-barrel Rochester air cleaner. And this is what she sounds like. Oh. Nice. So responsive now. As soon as you touch that fuel pedal, it goes. So anyhow, the only other problem I have is we have a slight leak along the top of the radiator right there. Um, as you can see, somebody had tried to do some patchwork on that and get it to stop leaking sometime in the past, but it has started leaking again. So got to talk to the owner and see what he wants to do about that. But that's about it. That's what we've done to this truck. She's running great. Motor looks really good. All nice fresh paint on it. And uh, can't wait till he sees it next week. Alrighty guys, talk to you soon. Have a good one. Okay, bye.